The growth of Kenya's aviation industry appears to be pegged on the expansion of Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, JKIA, going by the attention the ongoing construction works on Unit 4 have generated. Just a few days after President Kibaki directed that the construction of Unit 4 be speeded up, the U.S. ambassador to Kenya says the expansion, which will upgrade the airport to Category 1 status, will pave way for the operation of direct flights to and from the United States. We believe that direct flights to Kenya will help bring investment uh, to Kenya. American carriers such as Delta Airlines have previously expressed willingness to fly directly between Nairobi and the United States via Dakar, Senegal, but have had to put their plans on hold until JKIA can be cleared as a Category 1 airport. The airport is required to meet strict conditions on security, passenger and baggage handling as set by the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO. Unit 4 has to have an inbound and outbound passenger system where there cannot be an intermingling of either of those passengers. The airport was constructed between 1972 and 1978 and handles about 6 million passengers annually, well above its design capacity of 2.5 million passengers. Its expansion has been termed critical to the success of the National Carriers Expansion Plan, whose 20 billion shilling rights issue was launched on Friday last week. To the U.S. Ambassador, I now will push you to try and make sure that KCA also gets to a standard that will allow us to fly to the U.S. in the shortest time possible. Despite concerns over delays on the project, it is expected that Unit 4 will be completed in time to enable the airport to achieve Category 1 status in August this year. Wanjiro Gaido, Citizen Business.